This is the Wolf Vision VZ8 Plus 3 visualizer, part of the college's new standard specification for audiovisual equipment in teaching rooms. It should be noted that overhead projectors are currently on AV's list of outdated equipment that has been phased out of standard room specifications. The visualizer is quite similar to an OHP, but scores over its older, less advanced cousin in one important respect. Instead of using purely light and lenses to project an image onto a screen, a visualizer uses a high definition camera to create an electrical signal to send to a data projector. Ultimately, this means that you are not limited to using things that light can shine through and so can project pretty much anything onto the screen. Touch the screen and select Visualizer to power up both the projector and visualizer. Should the visualizer not power up automatically, push this button to do it manually. The basic controls for the visualizer are located on the touch screen. There are additional controls on the side of the visualizer's camera. The visualizer's top light should come on automatically. This light is sufficient for all uses including acetates. You may however turn it off if it is causing unwanted reflections. Then simply place your chosen material on the visualizer. The limits of the camera's vision lies just beyond the white surface. The camera should focus automatically, but there is a manual override if the camera is having trouble. There is also a freeze image option, so you can keep an image on screen whilst adjusting things under the camera. To display a physical object on the visualizer, simply place or hold the item on the visualizer. The zoom and clarity of the camera mean you are able to zoom in really close to the object and get a really sharp, crisp picture of some of the finer detail. To use a 35mm slide facility, insert your slide into a slot on the camera. The camera should focus automatically. The slide adapter can only hold one slide at a time. However, you can make use of the freeze image option to keep one slide on the screen whilst you swap it for another. If you still use acetate, you can of course bring those in and place them on the visualizer. The white surface is reflective enough that the transparencies will be lit effectively. Of course, if you traditionally write on acetate sheets or rolls during your lecture, this is no longer necessary. It is important to note that the white surface of the visualizer is not wiped clean. That is, do not write on the surface in any circumstances, even with whiteboard markers, as this will be impossible to remove. You can, however, bring in sheets of A4 paper and write on those as you would acetate on an OHP. And that's pretty much it. We are confident that once you get a chance to play with the visualizer, you'll find it a substantially more versatile teaching aid than an OHP. During trials on the Strand campus, the response to them has been almost entirely positive. As they start being rolled out across campuses, you are increasingly likely to come into contact with one. If you have any questions, please contact your local audiovisual services team. Let's do that again.